This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Let's get right into the news. And I just want to wish you all a happy, merry, happy Christmas, all that good stuff. I hope you guys are having a great day with family and everything. Let's get right into it. All right. So we got Young Buck talking about the game situation when he got kicked out of the group. Now, he says, I don't really know why 50 did that. This, eh, you kind of do. Uh, obviously, there was some business issues, and the game kept going and being cool with all of 50 Cent's rivals. Nas, Jadakiss, everybody. And he was, just became a problem. He always had a, as Jim Jones quotes, he always had a plan to go against 50 when he signed there. That was his plan. He knew he was going to get dropped from Interscope. Uh, 50 Cent put him under his wing so he wouldn't get dropped as a favor to Dr. Dre. And then from there, uh, he planned on going against 50 at one point to get him to, to Ja Rule him. That was his plan. The game had a plan all along. Jim Jones admitted that he told him this. So I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> I mean, he claims he doesn't know what happened. Yeah, you know what happened. You know. You were there. I wasn't there. But the story's been told so much, you know what happened, my G. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get right into, let's see, let's get right into this one. We got Iggy Azalea. This continues for Playboy Cardi. I guess Playboy Cardi wasn't there for the birth of his child, even though it was a planned birth. Uh, he won't sign his son's birth certificate, all this other stuff. He has some girl he was cheating on her with at uh, a release party the other night, uh, last night or the night before, or something like that. And she's heated. She's going back and forth with Playboy Cardi's side piece, saying that you know she was living in an Airbnb they were paying for together and all this other stuff. And you know, she so this girl responds to Iggy's claims. I'll I'll play Iggy's little video in a second, but. Uh, she says, so let's get this straight. I'm not a homewrecker. I would never knowingly be with someone that was in a relationship ever. It was a pretty public relationship. <laughs> let's be honest. Already, Cap. I first met Jordan in May. When I first met him the same day, he told me he had a son already born. And him and his baby mother were not together. Do you believe that? Before meeting him, I had no idea about anything about a child. So let's clear that up right there. And then she says, uh, I was not with him during throughout your pregnancy. Also, I never hid, and I never hid from anyone at all. Definitely not in the closet or anything like that. I don't know. I'm starting to believe Icky a little more. Even in the beginning, he would say he might have trouble co-parenting, and I would always vouch for the baby mother, like, always. Like, you got to be there. You got to take care of him. Over time, she found out who I was and then came and uh, threatened me, warned me, all these other things. Uh, over the time, she found out who I was and then came uh, again. She repeats the same thing. <laughs> she must have like copy and pasted this. All I know is that he would tell me and feel as if it's the same for her. I believe that he would tell me because... I felt true he was rarely around her, and when he was, it was to see his son, which I encouraged every little bit. Uh, I encouraged him to be with his son every chance he could get, even for Christmas, by the way, but he makes his own choices, and at the end of the day, and also, I was never with him at an album release party. Uh, I'm out of town with my family, so rung again, girl. I'm not a homewrecker. She says, uh, in that video you posted, that was not me pushing me out, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Who cares? Here's Iggy's side right here. And lastly, I love when this goes down. So I told you there's a trend going on where now rappers' girlfriends are buying them cars for their birthday, which is, like, probably not true. Okay. I don't believe Ari bought a $500,000 Maybach for him. I don't believe all of any of this stuff, but I realize what's going on. They're just trying to get posted on Instagram. That's fine. Well, the baby's girlfriend, Denale, tried to pretend like she bought a Lamborghini for his birthday. Turns out it was his uh, actual partner for South Coast Music Group, CEO Arnold Taylor, to celebrate the baby's birthday and successful 2020 by presenting him with a Lamborghini as a surprise birthday dinner on Monday. 
SCMG really goes hard for their artists. Da, da, da. <laughs> so the CEO was like, yo, I'm going to post this. So it's like, because this girl's getting all the credit. So, and then everyone's like, you thought Danny had bread like that, huh? Because, you know, she's like, she's claimed she's bought two houses and then, you know, she's, she's going a little far trying to compete with everybody else. And that's where you always go wrong, trying to compete with the Joneses. You got to just be your own. Be your own person. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get back to whatever, but I'll post another video this afternoon. Appreciate you guys. Obviously, it's Christmas, so I'm not going to be posting like too crazy, but I'll post again this evening and then again right before I go to sleep. So that's about four videos for today. That's good. And uh, I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas and spending time with the family. I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tower, JT News. Peace. Smash that like button.